My name is Tim Osgener. I'm the executive director at Oz, and we are a presenter and a producer of contemporary arts over multiple disciplines in Nashville, Tennessee. If you were to look at other spaces similar to ours in the Northeast in particular, you would look at BAM in Brooklyn, Brooklyn Academy of Music, Mass Mocha in the Berkshires, or Park Avenue Armory in New York City. The style that we're going to start in is we have a 10 to 12,000 square foot what used to be our warehouse, it's now our grand salon. And within that space, we are going to be presenting performances across, again, multiple disciplines in contemporary art, dance, theater, film, music of different disciplines in our first season, which the inaugural season will be starting in February of 2014. We don't want to be only for Nashville, we want to be regional and national and international. And we will be bringing programs that, up to now, they were bypassing Nashville. And you will see it in the programming that we have. Another aspect of what we'd like to do over here is to develop or establish a, a, a space where we can have artists that work almost as residencies or resident artists. Maybe not immediately in the first year or two, but working in that direction. Right now we have an excellent artist in resident. Brian Somerville, who's uh, sculpting this Bacchus that, uh, that he and my father had worked on. In this case, my father is the atelier, and Brian fulfills the kind of, uh, articulates the vision of the piece. But this gives you an example of something we're working towards also in the future. And we also are going to be having uh, events over here starting next year that feature local artists once a month. Uh, my name is Brian Somerville, and I'm the artist in residence at Oz. And this is Fallen Bacchus. He's one of three uh, large-scale Bacchus heads that will be out on the grounds here at Oz. This came back from fiberglass, so I'm putting a skim coat of epoxy on the back and really experimenting with some different textures and shapes. Of course, our space, even though you know we're a contemporary art center, and that is who we are and what our aim is. We've had multiple events within our Grand Salon and the rest of our facility because, you know, it's quite a beautiful refuge and escape to have multiple different types of events. So we have hosted uh, a great diverse array of events over here and we'll continue to do so. But, you know, the primary focus of what we're doing is around contemporary arts, um, and even though we like and are available to host um, outstanding events.